there's a special way of treating minerals and polymers and assembly theory where what in this in our life machine we're looking at molecules we don't care about polymers because they don't they're not volatile you can't hold them they're not how how can you make if you can't assert that they're identical then it's very difficult for you to 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 work out if they're undergone selection or they're just a random mess same with some minerals but we can come back to that so basically what you do we got a whole load of samples inorganic ones mm -hmm. We got a load of we got Scotch whiskey and also got nice. took Ardberg, which is one of my favourite whiskies, which is very peaty. And another whisk what does peaty mean is like um, so the way that on uh, on um, in Scotland in Isla, which is a little island, the 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 Scotch the Scot the whisky is let to mature in barrels, and um, the the it's said that the peat you know the the the, the, the complex molecules in the peat. Mm -hmm might find their way through into the whiskey and that's what gives it this intense brown color mm -hmm. and really complex flavor it's literally molecular complexity that does that mm -hmm. and so you know vodka is the complete opposite it's just pure right so with the better the whiskey the higher the assembly index or the, hi the higher the assembly index the better the whiskey that's what i mean i really Much. love deep pt scottish whiskies near my house there is a, a one of the the lowland distilleries called glengoyne it's still beautiful whiskey but not as complex so for fun i cooked took some glengoyne uh, whiskey in our bag and put them into the mass spec and measure the assembly index